Hi there. Now for this question, we're told that the continuous random variable x has a commutative distribution function f of x equaling 0 when x is less than 1 and it equals x cubed divided by 10 plus 3x squared divided by 10 plus ax plus b where x is greater than or equal to 1 but less than or equal to 2 and it's equal to 1 when x is greater than 2 where a and b are constants. And for this first part we've got to find the value of a and the value of b for four marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this one just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back I'll take you slowly through the work solution. Okay welcome back then if you had a go. So what we've got to be familiar with in order to do a question like this is that when you get a commutative distribution function, say f of x, let's just draw you a sketch here. We've got our axis like so, this is x here, that in this example it's going between 1 and 2. And we should know that f of 1 is 0 so anything below 1 it's going to always be 0 and when you do anything more than 2 it's always going to be 1 okay and the function in between here is going to look say something like that so we use this fact then in order to answer this we build up two simultaneous equations we know that f of 1 should equal 0 and we know that f of 2 should equal 1. So let's start off with the first one, that is that f of 1 should equal 0. And if that's the case, using this here, substituting x equals 1 in, we're going to get 1 cubed over 10, which is going to be 1 tenth. So 1 tenth plus, and then we're going to have 3 tenths plus... 1a or just simply a plus the b and that's going to equal 0. Now if I multiply through by 10 we know that 1 tenth plus 3 tenths is 4 tenths so if I multiply through by 10 we're going to therefore have 4 plus 10a plus 10b is going to equal 0. So this is my first equation that I'm going to be using when it comes to doing simultaneous equations. We need our second equation next and that comes from doing f of 2. f of 2 remember equals 1. So if we substitute x equals 2 into here we're going to have 2 cubed which is 8 so we're going to have 8 tenths and then 2 squared is 4, 3 fours are 12 so that's going to be plus 12 tenths and then we've got plus 2a plus b, 2a plus b, and that's going to equal the 1 here. Okay? And this works out nicely because 8 tenths, 12 tenths, that's 20 tenths or two whole ones. So we've therefore got the 2a plus b. And what I'm going to do is take the two whole ones from both sides. So you're going to end up with 1 minus 2, and that's going to equal minus 1. And if I make b the subject here, we therefore have b equals minus 1 minus 2a. So I'll call that equation 2. And all I've got to do now is substitute equation 2 into equation 1. So if we just make a note there, sub equation 2 into equation 1. And what does that give us? Well we're going to have 4 plus 10a so therefore 4 plus 10a plus 10 times b so if I do 10 times b that's 10 times minus 1 in fact I'll just put it in brackets for the moment okay and then that will equal 0. So let's expand the bracket and we'll have minus 10 minus 20a and that will equal 0 and if we group our terms we've got 10a minus 20a so that's going to be minus 10a 
and then you've got 4 minus 10 which is minus 6 and if I add that to both sides, 6 to both sides, we're just going to get minus 10a equals 6. And dividing by minus 10 to give us a, a will equal minus 6 tenths, better known as minus 3 fifths if we cancel it down. And got that value for a, all we've got to do is substitute that into 2. So if we just put here sub in equation 2, what does that give us? Well, it gives us b equals minus 1 minus 2 times minus 3 fifths. And so that's going to be 6 fifths minus 1 plus 6 fifths is going to be 1 fifth. So we've got our values then for a and for b, minus 3 fifths and 1 fifth respectively.